as somebody who's been through it myself, what would you say is more difficult, learning to lift Kylie Vincent and keep her in the air or getting the fake tan off at the beginning of the new week. I have to say, you've done a very go good <laughs> job. You're nice and pale. Let's just call him pale. Yeah. I was well, going to say, pale. yeah. Tomorrow evening, he will look like he's been dipped in Bistol. Honestly, I know. And actually, the, honestly, the worst thing about it is the apartment complex we're staying in. Mm. The cleaners change, the, they come on a Friday morning, so they change the sheets on a Friday morning. And then Saturday, you go home and, and you, I'm like Homer Simpson and I get in and I sleep in the bed and the bed is just orange for the full week. Oh so I have to say, I'm not a fan of the fake tan whatsoever. <laughs> That's not my cup of tea. Eh? That's <laughs> not for me. And you have no choice in the matter. No choice in the matter. No. Yeah. Well, well no. as part of Dance with the Stars, there's a plethora of people, actors, musicians, sports stars, and surely the competitive nature of all you people is starting to come out now that it's starting to get to crunch time, is it? I think like being in the industry, as yourselves well know, it's like, as you just said, there is a natural thing within all of us that you sort of have to be competitive to, to sort of survive in the entertainment industry almost. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this experience, at least the way I look at it, is that every journey and everybody's journey is such an individual process. You know, everybody starts from a different place and everybody ends at a different place. So it actually, I'm finding it quite easy to like, just basically look at it as my own journey and not compare myself to other people. Um, the way I look at it is I have to work hard all week, perform on a Sunday night, and I just have to focus on myself. Like yeah. I'd be raging if I work hard and because I'm comparing myself to other people, I then lack my own performance. Yeah. I just have to try my best and like yeah. put myself across as well as possible and, mm. and then like worry about the, sc the scores and the votes later. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. Yeah. The beauty well. of the thing as well is I think that different people see themselves in, in different contestants on the show. Yeah. So when they pick a lovely representative of, of the population, we'll say, Different people, gra you know, gravitate towards, you know, we'll say the sports star or the girl from Derry or the fella from Derry. Like, what is it with Derry this year? <laughs> Everybody from Derry's on the show. I know, hey, I, and honestly. doing really well. Look at Brooke as well. Oh, Brooke's came on. Yeah, Brooke's, I, Brooke's so naturally talented at dancing. It's like actual madness. What I'm like, you should be a prof you could be a professional dancer. Yeah. Um, so yeah, apparently, apparently there's something on the water in Derry. I'm not really sure what it is, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No. People presume because well, a lot of people recognise you from Glee that mm -hmm. you have a bit of dancing experience from that, do you? I mean, I think there's a big difference between my dancing experience and what this show is. Like on Glee, for example, you're part of a, a group, a cast, and you do ha have to learn, excuse me, you do have to learn like very intense choreography, but at the same time, you're part of a group of 15, 20 people that's doing this routine. So like there's a lot of hiding space mm. and then they have multi-million dollar budgets to edit and do all this. And so you might get like two seconds of screen time within a group number on Glee, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas in this, it's, it's you and your partner for a minute and 45 seconds. And especially as a male too, like the male in a lot of these dances has to be the leader and has to have an authority and kind of, Almost like leader, Are you leadership the male celebs qualities. Celebs have it easier than the female celebs on Dancing with Stars. I'm not Damien saying that. I, I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying like you have to, as a male, a lot of these dancers, you have to look like you know what you're doing because you're meant to be leading the female. You know, like that's kind of the it's nature of a Viennese waltz. Don't so you like, get involved. <laughs> so yeah, it's. I have to say, it's like the most mental experience I've ever been through, but I'm really, really enjoying it, which is really? surprising. Yeah, I'm loving it. More mental experience than being on one of the biggest shows in the world. This is, this is more difficult than, because I did the Glee project that yeah. got me on Glee, which was also a reality show where we were filming the show for 12 weeks. We didn't have phones, laptops, we were cut off in the world. Yeah. And honestly, this is really similar to that, but this is more difficult. Oh my God, yep. that's yep. a big statement. And that was really hard. Yeah. But this is like, a Monday, honestly, like Monday through Wednesday every week, yeah. I'm just like, I actually don't think I can do this. Yeah. And you nearly actually didn't make it onto Glee. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. Well, that's, so I went through the Glee project and when that started, I had a visa problem and I'll never forget, I was on a cruise and Robert Ulrich, who's the casting director, he called me and he says, listen, you've made the top 24 of the Glee project. We're going to send your tape to Ryan Murphy, who's the creator of Glee. The and top he's, 24 he's, out of 40,000? Out of 40,000. That's crazy. And then they're going to pick top 12 that'll make the reality TV show that was the Glee project. And he said, but we're not sending your tape because your visa's not through. <gasps> so he hung up the phone. And I remember I was on a cruise with Phil Coulter at the time. 
and I picked up the phone, I called him, this was Friday, I called him back and I says, Ryan, or Robert, sorry, give me to Monday morning, please, I have faith this visa will come through. Monday morning, 9.30 a.m., the visa no came way. through. Yeah, and he you sent it. Skin your teeth. Skin my teeth, and then, yeah, made the TV show and I ended up winning it, so it was just like, a lot of luck, fate, you know, wow. all those different things. Yeah, it's it's it's... It could have been very different. 